Alright, what's going on guys, it's Knight here, welcome back to another YouTube video, and today, you can already tell by the title in the thumbnail alone that I'm gonna be sitting here trying to make a game that's kind of similar to Happy Dungeons, but obviously makes some, like, changes and whatnot. I've been thinking about this for quite a bit of time, I've been trying to think of, like, a game to make that similar. Happy Dungeons Toy Logic kind of did take away something I valued a lot. Like, Dungeons, to this day, is still one of the best, M not MMOs, but one of the best RPGs I have ever played, and I'm still upset that it shut down and stuff many, many years ago. Ago, back in 2019, specifically on my birthday to top it all off. The worst birthday present anybody can ask for. But anyways, the thing about it is, is that I'm gonna intentionally try to use the IP of my existing characters and stuff, but kind of make it into a story that's not canon to the main story, like, consider it like more of a spin-off. But the thing about it is, what I plan to try to do is that, again, I kind of want a game that recaptures that feeling of Happy Dungeons, and since I had over thousands upon thousands of hours on that game, I sat there and kind of like studied the game upon many different aspects of what actually makes it good and what stood out to me as the player of what I valued a lot about that game. Same thing from listening to other people's conversations upon what they said about the game as well too. And you guys are probably wondering, how the heck I want to do that and stuff? And let me explain. It's like, look, before I even consider the like full idea like 100%, I need to see exactly how my current stories will work out for the Black Mage called Magi and the Legacy of the Geminites. I gotta see how those play out first before I even consider an idea like this because what if those stories flop? Then there's no point of doing it. But the way I'm gonna execute it was just that thing I mentioned right there, but also I'm gonna intentionally kind of push the route to making the game free to play like how it was with Happy Dungeons to make it more accessible. But not only that, I'm gonna again go into like dungeons a lot again, like try to remember a lot of things based on the game, write down some ideas and stuff like that about what made the game very accessible, not only to like beginning game players, but what made the game really good for in-game players as well too. There's so much about that game that I cannot let go of at all that, that I want to like be able to recapture, but like be a little different when the concepts of the, the development. And it's kind of crazy to sit there and kind of think about that though. But it's like, again, I want to make a game like it, but also kind of change some aspects and stuff like that to bring in some new mechanics and new elements and whatnot, but still make the game, you know, similar to what it, it what was like. But what I want to do different, what Toy Logic's done, is actually try to release the full story before releasing the game. Because that was one thing that did kind of bother me just a little bit, is that we had to wait an awfully long time for the complete story. The story wasn't even completed at all. We were left off with like a massive cliffhanger or whatnot and even at that the cliffhanger was kind of kind of in, in the middle ground. I wouldn't say it's bad. It was just like oh th this Bloodlord dude just came and took the princess and then just left. We don't really know his motives or anything like that at least what I can remember. We just know that the pr princess got kidnapped by d d d an, an attack that's named Dr. Rarehead. That, that's the name. And then I, I can't remember what, what he wanted to do with the princess. It was, I think make her into like a zombie or something like that. I don't know. Everyone's motives upon why they take the princess is really goofy, but that's kind of what I like. But again, I'm gonna do something completely different for my game and stuff when I do try to make something that's similar to Happy Dungeons upon like its visuals, its uh, its user interface, aka UI for short, and do the same thing for how they kind of have the gotcha system, but kind of handle things a little more differently where it doesn't feel too, I have to spend money to get this kind of thing. Like do a built-in pity system like how, uh, like how Happy Wars has it. Like don't get me wrong, I know some people might be like, oh, pity system like my Genshin, you know, because I make a lot of Genshin videos, so anybody who wa uh, plays Genshin or watches Genshin content, you probably think of a pity system like that. No, Happy Ones, in my opinion, has a better pity system, uh, for better or for worse, depending on, depending on who you are. In my opinion, like, excluding any form of bias, Happy Ones pity system, in my opinion, it's the best. They have the Star Fragment system. That's what I like the most. It's really, really good, and it feels really, really nice, even though it's still a bit of RNG, but it makes you kind of want to stack up those Star Fragments and stuff to be guaranteed a super premium, but it's kind of random upon what class you're going to get it for, and hence why they have class stickers to kind of make it a little bit more easier, depending on what is in the lineup. But other than that, again, I have a lot of ideas. A lot of them are still pretty rough. What I plan on doing is writing all these things inside of a Google document so I get all this stuff kind of work done and whatnot. But other than that, that's all I want to say, because I don't want this video dragging on for a very, very, very long time. But again, you guys get the premise. I want to make a game that's similar to Happy Dungeons. But anyways, before I sign off or anything like that at all, remember that Jesus loves you guys. This is Save Your Light, and I'll see you guys next time.